Hello and welcome to another exciting video from the Hawthorne Gardening Company. Today we will show you how to make watertight communication cables for your E-Series adapter. Correct installation of the included cable glands will protect the adapter from particles in the air along with direct moisture. All you're going to need to accomplish this is your E-Series adapter and a ballpoint pen. Begin by removing your E-Series adapter. If you're making custom length cables, most of this can be skipped since you can slide the entire length of this assembly over the cable and terminate it. We're going to demonstrate this in another video. In this video, we're using the 6 foot Gavita interconnect cable included with every E-Series adapter. Start off by unscrewing the cable gland assembly. Next, remove the cable gland pressure dome. Grab your ballpoint pen and use the back of it to push out the inner sealing sleeve. You might need to try it a few times before you get it right. Now let's start with assembly. Slide the rounded edge of the pressure dome end cap over the RJ45 terminal. Place the sealing sleeve on the cable, taking note that the tapered end needs to face the pressure dome and the flat end should face the back of the RJ45 terminal. With the plastic fingers going on first, slide the cable gland over the RJ45 terminal. Gently pinch the sealing sleeve so it wraps slightly. This will allow you to easily insert it into the plastic fingers of the cable gland. This part can be tricky, so don't get frustrated if it takes you a few times to get it. After two to three of these, you're gonna be a pro. You'll know you've done a good job when the rubber gasket is flush with the fingers. It'll look something like this. Now screw the pressure dome over and twist it on a couple of times so that you can still slide the interconnect cable through it back and forth. With your E-Series adapters in position, plug in your RJ45 interconnect cables. If you hear a satisfying click, you know they're in. Without exerting too much force, go ahead and tighten the cable gland assembly on top of that RJ45 connector. Now to create the watertight seal, take the pressure dome and tighten it all the way down. You'll just want to use your fingers because using a wrench could damage it. We hope this has been helpful. Please stay tuned for more instructional videos and feel free to comment with questions and feedback. Happy growing!